Right there, we're going to look to the, at uh, making differential equations. Um, this is where this uh, where it says here forming differential equations. And of course, once we formed them, once we made them, we've got to try and solve them as well. So let's have a look at that. We're trying to use the skills that we've seen last time, I suppose. And um, it says x is proportional to y, and it says write an algebraic statement for the following. You might remember this from year twelve. I'm not going to spend too long on it. You should remember that this is written x is proportional to y. X is inversely. All right, when they're inversely, we always do 1 over something. What's it say? Proportional to the square of Y. Okay, so therefore it's X is proportional to 1 over Y squared. Um, and work the equations. Okay, if we want the equation for proportionality, you introduce a K. So this becomes X equals KY. The K is the constant of proportionality. This one becomes X equals K over Y squared. So hopefully you remember those from year 12. And yes, they're all OK. So um, here's our first question. It says a solution initially contains 200 bacteria. Well, as soon as it says the word initially, look out for that. T equals zero. And the letter they're using for the number of bacteria seems to be X. So I'm going to write X equals 200. Initially, they're the cons um, two pieces of information they tell us. Assume that the rate at which the number of bacteria increases. Look out for this word rate. The number, the, the rate at which the x increases. So I write it down here. I'm going to write dx increases dx by dt. Um, well, it says proportional. Actually, it's proportional to the number present. Now, the number of bacteria present. That must be x. So I can straight away write that as an equation. This implies that dx by dt equals kx because it's proportional to x. Um, write down the differential equation. I think that's actually what they want. Now part B says, if the rate increase, rate of increase is initially 100. All right, so dx by dt is 100. That's what they're saying. They're saying dx by dt is 100. Is initially 100. So that's when t equals 0. And of course, we already know that when t is 0, x is 200. So I can write all these things down. I think I've got enough space just to do a little bit of this. Um, I, can, I think I can sub some of these things into this equation. Uh, I know this is true. So I can say dx by dt 100 equals k times x 200. I reckon k is a half. And so my equation actually becomes dx by dt equals a half x. So that's the equation, but they want me to actually do something else with it, so I've got to do a bit more work. So let's go on to the next slide. So um, we've got dx by dt was equal to a half x. Now, of course, what I want to be able to do is you know, solve this differential equation. So what we do, generally do is we switch to the x's and the uh, t's around. So I'm going to have dx over x equals a half dt. I can integrate both sides, and that will give me a log of the mod of x. Now, I don't think I'll need to worry about the mod, because it's any positive numbers. It's equal to a half t, plus a constant. Now, you may recall that when I move the log over to the other side, I, I suppose it's tempting to write e to the half t plus c. But you quickly remember, remind yourself that actually equals a e to the half t. And we've seen that before. So what were they told me? They told me that x was 200 when t was 0. So I can write a, e, and a half of 0 is actually 0. So um, I think a is 200. And therefore my equation is that x equals 200 e to the half t. Now if we just go back. Um, it says, how many bacteria are there after two hours? So when, this last part C, says when t equals two hours, um, I reckon therefore it's x equals 200 e to the half times two. Well, that's like e to the one. So if I just turn that into my calculator, it's 200 times by e to the 1, and I get 543 in a bit. I suspect they've just rounded to 543. That's how many bacteria there's not, yeah, point whatever. 543. Um, the mass of a radioactive element, this next example says, 
decays at a rate which is proportional to the mass remaining left. I think that's like what we've seen before. dm for mass by dt. Notice I, whenever I see that word rate, I think oh, I need to put um, a differential there. And I've got dx by uh, dm by dt equals km. Now I could write a negative km because it's, no, it's going down, it's decreasing, but I think it will just find it for me anyway. And um, it says, I've got two pieces of information here actually. Initially, so t equals naught, the mass is 10. And then after 20 days, t equals 20, the mass is 5. So I think I've got to do some work on this because I don't I haven't been told anything about dm by dt. So I might as well integrate it straight away. Um, uh, move the t over and the m over. So I think I get dm over m equals k dt. Quite similar to the last one, isn't it? So that gives me log m equals kt plus a constant. And if I move the log over, I'll get m equals e to the well, nearly fell for that, a e to the kt, because the c becomes a constant at the front. So there's my equation. Now, I think I'm probably going to solve this by simultaneous equations. Um, so let's just do that. I'll put my t equal naught in, first of all. So um, that will give me m is 10, it says, at that point. So when that is true, I'll get 10 equals a e. And when I put 0 in there, I'll get to the zero. So you can quickly see that a equals 10. And the second thing then is I need to find my k. And I suspect they used this one this time. So uh, if I substitute those in this time into this equation again, so, so I'm, I'm still using the same equation, m equals. So I'm going to type them in, I get 20 equals a e to the kt. Now the a I now know is 10 e to the kt. And my, oh, I've got the wrong way around. It's not 20 equals, it's 5 equals, nearly went wrong. 5 equals 10e to the 20 times the k. Um, so we'll move the 10 over. So that's 5 divided by 10 is 0 0.5 equals e to the 20k. Now the obvious thing to do is to move the e over to make it a log. So I think I'll get 20k equal to the natural log of 0.5 and k therefore is a 20th of the log of 0.5 I don't think it's a very nice number that so I'll just work that out so um, the 20th times by the natural log of 0.5 it should be a negative number and it is it is minus 0.03 or what's that 4 7 is probably best um, okay, so that's my um, equation that they wanted, uh, and that's right, and k, their k is already negative, that's why they've not written it. Find the taken, time taken to reach one milligram. Well, uh, one milligram, we start off at uh, 10 and then 5, and so we just got to set that equation equal to uh, 1. So um, we've got m equal to 10e to the minus 0.034 seven t but um that's what i'm after i suppose the t and we can set this equal to one move the 10 over i get e to the minus 0 0.0347 t equals one divided by 10 is 0 0.1 and i'll take logs then so i'll get minus 0 0.0347 t is the natural log of 0 0.1 so i might as well do that the natural log of 0.1 is minus 2.3-ish. So I think t is equal to 2, uh, so well, it's minus 2.3026 divided by minus 0.0347. It's obviously, there's room for a rounding error there, but allowing for me doing it properly in the exam, perhaps. I get the answer 66 in the bit. t equals 66 point well, four, I'm going to say. What is this measured in? This was in days. So what did I answer that I get? 66.4 days, there you go. So a new question now. We've got water flowing out of a tank through a hole in the bottom. And at time t, the depth of water in the tank is x meters. Um, 
Okay, at, a, at any instant, the rate, have a look at this, the rate again. So I'm going to write dx by dt, and which the depth of it is decreasing at proportional to the square root of the depth of water of the tank. So that's proportional. I could write a minus, I don't need it. Um, I'm going to write to proportional to so k over the square root of x. So I suppose that's dx by dt. Oh, I don't know why I wrote k there, that should have been a 1. And then here it's meant to be a k, k. Oh, again, I don't like root x on the bottom, so I'm going to write x to the half. It's easier that way. So that's my um, differential equation. And once I've got my differential equation here, I now can sub some numbers in it. It says t equals 0 when x is 2. And probably I need to, because it doesn't actually tell me what dx by dt is, so I'm going to have to integrate it straight away. And move things around, separate the variables. So I get dx, like x to the half goes on the bottom, that's the same as saying um, x to the minus a half dx is equal to k dt, and now I can integrate both sides. That's probably better than trying to write it on the bottom and then getting them to rewrite it. So add a power gives me x to the half, divide by the new power which divide by half the same as times my 2, um, is equal to, that's just k t plus some constant c. So that's probably easiest if I write that over here. 2 root x equals k t plus c. And I've got to find two constants, k and the c, and that's why they've given me two pieces of information. So let's worry about the first one. It says t equals naught, x equals 2. Some of those in. I get 2 root 2, or t is 0, that disappears, equals c. And these, you know what, there's no extra marks for getting these pretty, unless it says give an exact answer. So I'm just going to write 2 root 2 on the calculator, sd button, and I get 2.828. So I think it's probably easy if I do that. And so now I've got that, I can write 2 root x equals kt plus 2.828. Now, what's the information they give me now? They say t is 5 when x is 1. Let's substitute that in. 2 times root 1, well, 2 times root 1 is still 2, equals k times that 5, plus 2.828. So, I reckon that's relatively straightforward. So it's 2 minus my answer, um, divided by 5. If I press the, I get k equal to a negative 0 0.1657. Okay, so my equation has now become, let's see, where is it? Uh, it's 2 root x my equals minus 0 0.1657 t plus 2.828. And it wants me to find t when x is 0.5. So it's 2 times the square root 0.5 equals that number plus 2.828. I'm guessing that's relatively straightforward to solve. So 2 times the square root of 0.5 uh, minus the 2.828 divided by a negative 0.1657. Again, allowing for a bit of dodgy rounding errors, I get t equal to 8.53. What was that in seconds? What is that? I have no idea. Minutes. Oh, good. 8.5 minutes. Good. We've got the right answer. Look, we're more or less out of time. Um, in the next lesson, I'll start with you. Oh, but that is actually the end of the. I thought I was going to have an extra question. Um, so. Next lesson, we'll start exercise 13. See, we won't finish it. I've got two lessons planned for this and lots more examples on exercise 13C.2. So, um, well done and um, good luck in the lesson.